Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter, the master of topics today, checking out another beer that I got from the ever so awesome Johan, uh, Johan, Johan in Sweden. So when I was over there for GBG Beer Week, he gave me a few beers to bring back. I already had a package from him from the last time I was in Sweden, in Gothenburg, during the All In Beer Fest. But um, I still have a few as well, and I'm sorry, Johan, but it's stout, so it's sent to sit on them and dark beers and barrel aged beers, but it's okay, you know, they can last. So, uh, but hey, we're getting to one now. And this is from Steve Barriott's. And I think this might be the first Imperial Stout I reviewed from the, these guys. And this is the Steve Barriott's Trouble Sleep. Imperial Coffee Stout and 12% made with coffee from Pia Norby or Kaffeerosta Pia Norby, which I think is a coffee roastery based in Gothenburg. I believe I saw it around. Just like I recognize the logo. But yeah, this is a twelve percent imperial style brewed with coffee, and I, I believe I've had a version of this actually on cask. Now they had a cask version of this that was was it bourbon and rum barrel aged with also vanilla beans and coconuts. It was something of that during uh, the All In Beer Fest, which was actually really good. Um, which was I think made by their then new brewmaster who's from the UK. But let's check out Trouble Sleep. Also, shout out to Alex in the States. I actually sent him a can of this because we also got this in Denmark. But pours a nice, thick, rich, pitch black color in the glass. It looks like a nice imperial stout. Very nice, roasty looking tan head. I mean, it looks again like crema on a, on a, on a, like a nice espresso. I really started to notice that on a lot of these stouts, like the coffee crema color. I love that on the head. But yeah, let's check out the aroma. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> it's I just had a coffee stout that was similar to this almost. And in general, the vibes with the stouts today is like old school with coffee. Um, this I'm getting loads of dark fruit, dry dark fruit, raisin like figs, basset wine gums, some breadiness, loads of rye bread on this as well, and then coffee. And it's not like like super sweet or anything. It's like this more classic stout uh, profile, which is nice. And then coffee, but the coffee is again, it's not like crazy. It's like, it's a little bit subdued, but it's definitely there. A little bit of alcohol, but nothing crazy. I, and maybe if we're talking a bit of off rate flavor, I'm smelling something that reminds me a bit, bit of acid aldehyde, which is green apple. But that could also be coffee. Coffee can bring out flavors like that, you know, but it smells quite nice. Let's try it. Try it. Cheers and thanks a ton to Yohan for the beer. Ooh, more sweet than I expected. It's like an oaty sweetness. Ooh, and almost like, it's kind of like a slightly sugary sweetness. Almost like a demerara, muscovado type thing without being too molasses-y. Yeah, it doesn't really say. Ooh, yeah, oh yeah, it, it could be demerara, uh, muscovado. There is a little bit of molasses on the aftertaste. So compared to the previous coffee style I had, this is much less roasty, much more sweetness, more bready and whatnot. And a little bit of a, as I said, like British esque vibe with this like dark fruity thing. Again, the coffee is really understated. It's, just, it's been the general theme. I've had three coffee stouts today, I've reviewed three. And if you guys wonder, three coffee stouts? I've t said this in the Q&A once before, often with these spirits I review, I actually don't drink all of it if I'm doing it on my own. Disclaimer. I don't drink all the beer I review. That's just how it is. Otherwise, I'd be drunk all the time. But same thing, like with the coffee, other coffee stuff. Like it's a very light coffee profile. I, it's not as like forward and in your face as I prefer. But really nice, like more classic base again, mixed with some new school sweetness. Like, it has like a sweetness that reminds me of like oats paired with the sweetness that reminds me of like muscovado sugar because you get the molasses -y flavors, there's the roast coffee profile, roasted maltiness, dark chocolate, not like as burnt and nasty as the other one at all, not really. Uh, and then big time rye bread flavor. Like, I wonder if there's rye in here. A little bit like the dark fruit thing carries through a little bit, but it's not like crazy. It's like more like really dark bread, rye bread, roast, and then uh, roasted malt, or uh, roast malt. Yeah, roasted malt, and yeah, actually a lot of breadiness to it, um, and then paired with these kind of like dark fruit nuances. But actually, yeah, actually, I think this is one of the most bready imperial stouts I've had in a while. It's nice though, 
Like, it, not like completely mind blowing for me either. It's just because it says it's like coffee stout. I, I've become a sucker for coffee stouts. I've always been, but when the when I really dig in, it's like when there's the coffee, it's not an undertone, it's like full on like big flavor. I've been editing some reviews and some coffee stuff with other adjuncts and my biggest beef with those were also like, all the adjuncts stand out, but they overshadow the coffee a bit. And it's just because I've become such a coffee nut as of late. I fucking love coffee and um, yeah, it's just, it could be more. Almost even licorice flavor on this too. But it's nice. It's actually a very nice base. I'll actually go straight 90 on Trouble Sleep. I think it's really good. It's really thick and creamy as well, like very viscous. More old school flavors, I, but more well executed for my palate than the previous one I had from uh, Spy Brew. Um, but I, again, biggest beef, I could use more coffee. But other than that, it's nice. So if you guys had a chance to try these tea baguettes, Trouble Sleep Imperial Stuff with Coffee, let me know what you thought of it. Thanks a ton to Johan for this one, you the man. This will probably be the one I actually finished for all the beers tonight. And I'm going to finish this with playing some PS4. So, yeah, cheers to Yolen for sharing awesome beer. And uh, as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the fa Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram for this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also, uh, yeah, if you've had it, let me know what you thought of it. And I'm going to say cheers and see you guys in another beer review. And big thanks to Yolen for the beer. Cheers.